whatever it is that you desire. You know, because it's finally, it's like finally somebody see what I'm trying to say to realize it's not just about us. Mm. It's not just about us. Isn't it about him? If you ain't think about him, what are you going to most high for you for? Mm. If you're just all about yourself, what is that? That brings about what? Selfishness. And see, that's where he wrote, he written it so, written it so that most people don't, it just, phew, right? Just go over their head. I explained it clearly. And just as I explained it, it still went over here. Because when I came back and asked what's the importance of it, nobody of y'all responded. And I explained it thoroughly. But it's spiritual. Those are, these are the things you got to work on so you will see, and you read this Bible, this book of life, that you can see things spiritually. Because without seeing it spiritually, just, just going over scriptures, you're going to be like everybody else, like the church, man. The secular churches, that's what I call them, the worldly churches. They read them and they, got, they get one thing, in the name of Jesus, you know, they pray and they do whatever they do, but they really don't have the understanding of the Holy Spirit. They wouldn't be running around the church like a chicken with his head called, talking about they got the, that's the Holy Spirit, that's the Holy Ghost, right? They got I was filled with the Holy Ghost and I started running around the church and just, could they be falling out and just kept... And they just, everybody falling out and all that. He do it like this. And, you know, you see all that? Touching people, they just by the rolls and stuff. Man, that's not, the, that's not the Holy Spirit. They get up, they don't know nothing. They even do, they get up and got a headache. <laughs> Other than that, what do they know? Concerning this word. This was important. They will give you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. And it shall tell you things to come prophecy of what this Bible is talking about, what the Most High is saying. Everybody want to be a look, look at me. I, I can, I'm, a, I'm a fortune teller. <laughs> but you don't know what they went to to be able to do the things that they do because, hey, the Most High got his right hand and he got his left hand. Satan imps know how to deal with whatever they're going to deal with to make, make it seem like it's something that's important. You understand? You understand this, man? They'll be doing signs and wonders in, 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 to the point where if it were possible, my food would very let, it says, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why you can't be fooled, man. I've seen a whole lot of things go down the pipe, man, since I've been in this truth, man. And people, they fell for it. Renowned men, man, that was powerful. You would never think back in the day that they would be doing what they're doing, but they, they doing it. Or they have just left this alone, man. They're not dealing with it at all. It has to be a spirit that would have you in this and take you off, take you out from dealing with this. Y'all hear me? This ain't, I mean, this, come on, man. This ain't something that you got to play with. I ain't no joke, man. He will jack your butt up. <laughs> or have you so that you are in a delusive type of mindset where you really can't see. That's why you got to study to be approved to him, rightly dividing the word of truth, rightly dividing this word. So where we at? Uh, last... Second Timothy, fear, fear. Fear. Read that. Second Timothy chapter one verse seven. Come. For the Most High hath not given us the spirit of fear. The Most High has not given us the spirit of fear, man. Read. But of power. But of power. And that power is spiritual power. By Hashem, my shot, God was shot. Most High to bring that power, spiritual power, to us. Read. And of love. And of love. What is love? The keeping of the commandments, Second John six. Get that right quick. That's this is love. You just deal with this one. There's many scriptures that show you what this love is, but this is what it tells you. Saint John verse six. No, Second John. Sorry, sorry. Second John verse six. And his and this is love that we walk after his commandments. <coughs> this is the commandment that ye have heard from the beginning. Ye shall walk in it. Yeah. Where the be where the beginning start? Hmm. Hmm? Where the beginning start? Where that's a real simple question. Where did the beginning start? Genesis? No. Uh, Genesis is the twenty eighth chapter, right? Genesis. Oh uh, I mean, you give it an answer, but your answer can't. Genesis, uh, the 15th chapter, Genesis 15 and 5, Genesis what? Uh, 
three and two. You said Genesis. I mean, Genesis got a whole lot of chapters. You sound like somebody I, I, I know that he said, in the book of Jeremiah. I'm like, what book? <laughs> Genesis 1 and 1. Genesis 1 and 1, what did it say? Um, the first three words. In the, in the beginning. The, right. In the heading. No, it's, the yeah, first three it words says what? In the beginning. That's all you need. What are we talking about? The beginning. The beginning. <laughs> That's all we need them three words in the beginning. <laughs> so from the start, he gave us commandments. Did he not start commanding from the start? Mm -hmm. What was the first commandment? Uh, Go there. <laughs> Read it. <laughs> Isn't this where the book of Moses starts? Read it. Go ahead. Oh, what I got. Read it. Oh, uh, Genesis 1 and... Um, and 1. In the beginning, the powers created the heaven and the earth. So what's the first thing he did? Create the, the heaven and the earth. Go ahead. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Mm -hmm. And the spirit of the powers moved upon the face of the waters. What did? The spirit <laughs> of the powers moved upon the face of the water. The spirit, the spirit, right? Mm -hmm. Did what? Moved upon the face of the waters. Right, so who is that spirit? Boy, it moved upon the face of the waters and what? Read. And powers said, let there be light, and there was light. Right. Let there be light, and there was light. Read. And the powers saw the light, that it was good, and the powers divided the light from the darkness. And the powers called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. Right, so that's the first commandment, the first order that was given. The first day. Hmm? That was the first order or commandment ever given. He said from the beginning, so we know the most high, we get Ephesians 3 and 9. So you see who that spirit is. Like people be like, oh, who is this? Who the spirit? It said the spirit. Did it, did it say spirits? No. Did it say spirits? Did y'all see spirits? All I see was it said the spirit. Read that. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 9. And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning. From where? The beginning. From where? The beginning. Where did we just go? The beginning. The beginning, right? <laughs> what verse was it? What, what was it? Where was the beginning? Oh. And the beginning was at where? Oh, chapter 1, verse 1. Huh? Chapter Genesis. 1, verse no, 1. No, 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 no. What verse was it? 1, verse 1? Come on, huh? Genesis, the book of Genesis 1 and 1. Kind. Genesis, the book of Genesis 1 and 1. Not just 1 plus 1. What it was. See? Read it again now. So, I mean, it's like you see how this coincides. Read and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery. It's a mystery, it's something that's unknown. But you gotta understand it spiritually. Read. Which from the beginning. From when? The beginning. From the beginning, read. Of the world. Of what? The world. So that we just read the beginning of what? The world, didn't we? Huh? Uh -huh. Go ahead. Had been hid. Had been hid, read. In the most high. In the most high, read. Who created all things by Hamashiach Yahushai. So who is that spirit? Hamashiach Yahushai. God. Why, why is it Hamashiach Yahushai? Uh, why? Yeah. Uh, how come you say it's Hamashiach Yahushai? Because it says right here. It says what? It says, uh, oh, okay. Hmm? Read it. Hmm? Read it. It was Ephesians 3 and 9. Mm -hmm. 
What is that? Why it was? Mashiach de Hawashai in the right. beginning. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mashiach de Hawashai. Um, I don't know. I don't know the answer. Look at Ephesians 3 and 9. My question is, I'm asking you that because I want you to understand what you're reading. Ephesians 3 and 9, what does it say? The last part. Who created all things by Bahashem Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Not Bahashem Mashiach Yahweh Shai, but by Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Because you see Bah, you see in. I'm saying in the name. Yeah. Right, if you see in, then that's Bahashem Mashiach. Uh-huh. If you say in, in Jesus or in Christ, then that's yeah. Ba Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai. But he created all things. Ba Yamashiach Yahweh Shai. Kind. That's what I'm saying. Whatever I ask you is from the scriptures that we're reading. In the spirit, I don't, you ain't got to go this way or that way, but we have read the answer to make sure that you're getting this. You understand? We already have the answer is right there in the scripture. You ain't got to go nowhere else looking and thinking deep. This ain't deep. It's real simple. Just look at what's being written and then <laughs> see what it's, that's how you just said. And you just said because you just he just read it. You say because it's right there. You just got to go back there and repeat what's being said or to understand that's right there. It's right there, huh? So. That's him right there. That's what he said. He said he's in the volume of the book. It's written to me. The Spirit. See? And that's, that's very important that we see this. I mean, it's, I can't express it no more than what it is. And get uh, Real quick, we're going to go through this. I mean, I, I, the Spirit, I guess, felt that this was very important that we can anybody any questions something that someone didn't might not understand and don't no question is a um, is a dumb question or or of that nature every any question man speak loud right speak loud wrong that's how we're gonna do this man because we brothers and we're gonna make it together yeah this um lesson actually for myself and maybe for others as well will help them in their prayer as well yeah. You know, because like you say, it's all about me, 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 us, us, us. Mm-hmm. You know, but it's about the glorification of the Heavenly Father. And to the Son. Yeah. Right. You know, that's right. that's what it's about. So I mean No, that, no, no. The glory the, the most high can be glorified, glorified in the Masiak Kal Shah. Come and that may help others like myself mm-hmm. pray better. You yeah. know, rather than asking for certain things that I may feel I may need or want. Mm-hmm. You know. We give that glory, you know, to, to the Most High. Do what my shot can help a shot. Come, come. So that may help those who may need help praying better. So that that, that way their prayers may be heard this time. Come, you come. Know? But if you think about it, you thank the Most High for sending the Mashiach Kavashai. Thank the Mashiach Kavashai for dying mm. for us as the children of Israel. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Thank him. And, you know, the Most High sent the Mashiach Kavashai us. We could be just still lost, man. Thank him for the fact of our, our us being called and hope that we are the chosen. We can't say we're the chosen. Right. Some people already think they're the chosen. They, we ain't can't say we're the chosen. Well, so I said, dare not make thyself one of the number. We don't even know if it's going to be our generation. You feel me? It could be children that's going to be born hereafter. Children, children, children. We're in the third day. Mashiach Abishai don't even know when the Mashiach Abishai is going to come back to judge and make war. Mosiah ain't told him. He ain't tell us. Remember they said, hey, they, remember they said in Acts 1, in, in, Acts 1 in, 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 uh first 6, man. This after he died, rose on the third day, walked the earth for 40 days. This was the apostle asked him. Read that. Acts chapter 1, verse 6. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Mashiach, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? So now, that's real clear. Anybody that have ears to hear <laughs> and eyes to see, is the kingdom coming to every nation? Mm-hmm. Listen to what it says. Did the Mashiach of Shai after he day ask them, you, at this time you're going to restore the kingdom to Israel? Did he say, what do you mean coming to Israel? Like everybody say, oh, God loves everybody. We all in this together. Mm. What do you mean restore the kingdom to Israel, back to the Israelites? What did he say? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. See, the Most High hath put in 
his own power. Mm -hmm. Let you know that Most High have put when he's going to bring the judgment and the war and the righteous kingdom on this earth forever and ever and ever in his own power. You see? Read. But, you shall, but ye shall receive power. No, no, no. Verse 7. And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. <laughs> but ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Spirit is coming to you. Right. That's all. And that's it, man. So, it said the Most High is not the, uh, the Most High does not give us the spirit of fear, but of what? Power. Power. So, read that again. Eight. Verse 8. But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Spirit is come upon you. That's all we need. <laughs> Are y'all with me? Do you see this? So when they will receive power? When they will receive power? When they will receive power? Yes. When the Holy Spirit is come upon you. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Caught. <laughs> Caught. What 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 what? what <laughs> what is it that we do? The only thing we deal with. Well, call. What what do we deal with? What's dealing with us? The What's dealing with us? The spirit. Well, it's, yeah, okay. it's a whole lot of spirits out there. I don't want to be bringing no spirits up in here. I don't want to be bringing no spirits up in here. We see the spirit. Yeah, like, the <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a whole lot of spirits, but let me talk about the spirit. spirit. What kind of spirit are you talking about? The Holy <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> he said, the spirit. Boo-boo-boo-boo. <laughs> <Holy spirit. laughs> Watch out now. <laughs> <laughs> you hear what he said? The spirit. <laughs> what kind of spirit you talking about? The Holy <laughs> God, God. I was saying it's very important, man. Like he just said, man. Let me. My God just said it, man. Right? Read it again, huh? But you shall receive power. You gonna receive what? Power. What kind of power is that? What kind of power is that? Power is most high. No, no, no. What kind of power is that? Spiritual power. Spiritual power. Kind. Uh -huh. Spiritual power. Read it on the top. But ye shall receive power. You're going to receive spiritual power. Read. After that, the Holy Spirit is come upon you. After that, the Holy Spirit is come upon us. You see? <laughs> you see, it's still in order. That order. You ain't going to deviate from that order. It's very important that you see the order. Because he told us, hey, you, most times not the most times don't give us a spirit of fear, but of power. And we didn't finish it. Go back to uh 2 Timothy 1 and 7. I don't know, I'll tell you, I don't know why the spirit is having had me go here. I I it, but it just it just must be needed for some reason, you know what I mean? But read this. Second uh, Timothy chapter one verse seven. Con. For the Mosai had not given us the spirit of fear. So the Mosai had not given us the spirit of fear. That's why you look at this day is a great deliverance, man. The destruction of Nicanor. You see. So the Mosai gave us the spirit of fear. Read. But of power. But of power. What kind of power is that? Spiritual. Spiritual power. How you get the spiritual power? Mike Allah? By the Holy Spirit. By the Holy Spirit. Kind. Okay, come on. And of love. And of love. What's that love? His commandments. Right? Keeping of the commandments. Kind. Go ahead. And of a sound mind. And of a sound mind, man. With the Holy Spirit, you, from the definition of the Holy Spirit, you don't have what? If it's in you, you don't have what? Wisdom, understanding, so, knowledge, fear of the Most High. Counsel. Counsel. And might. There it is. 
Right. And that, that's going to 